big day has arrived, you have gone through the worst of it. You are now ready for your embryo transfer. You will have been called ahead of time to be given the time to arrive at the center. Beforehand, we're going to ask that you do a couple of things. One is to take some medications to relax both you and the uterus. This helps prevent the uterus from contracting and possibly pushing out the embryos at the time of the transfer. We're also going to ask that you drink some fluids and not go to the ladies' room. The full bladder will act as a window that the doctor can look through to see into the uterus so that he can properly place the embryos. Once you arrive at the center, you will be asked to verify your identity by name, date of birth, social security number. You will be asked to change into a gown, as will your partner. We encourage the partners to go in with you to the embryo transfer for moral support. Once you're in the procedure room, you'll speak with the doctor and the embryologist. Again, they will verify your identity. They will also verify with you the quality of the embryos and how many you desire to have transferred at this time. Once all of that has been verified, you'll be placed into a position very similar to that of a pap smear and the doctor will insert a speculum. He'll wash the vagina with a balanced sugar salt solution that is healthy for the embryos, then tell the embryologist to load the catheter and that we'll be ready to go. Once the embryos have been loaded into a little soft plastic tip catheter, he will slide them in through the cervix using the ultrasound to again verify the placement. Once the embryos have been placed into your uterus, the catheter will be removed and returned to our embryologist where she will verify that all embryos have been removed from the catheter. Once this has been done, the speculum will be removed and the doctor will offer to drain your bladder if you're exceedingly uncomfortable with a small catheter. If you're not too uncomfortable, you'll return to our recovery room and we ask that you recline for about 30 minutes. At this point, we'll ask you to um, get dressed and allow you to go home. Once you return home, we ask that you just take it easy the rest of the day. Read a good book, watch a movie, just take it you know, easy, put your feet up for the rest of the day. After that, you will go into the, what we call the long wait phase. You will continue to take some of your medications, such as progesterone, but you will officially have entered the long wait.